Well, good morning, YouTubers. This is J&J's Backwood Shop. Back at it again on the uh, F100. We got the Mercury Grand Marquee front end here. We're going to start cleaning up on here. We got uh, a rainy day today here in Alabama, so uh, the weather is not uh, really what we had hoped for this morning, but we, uh, we're going to try to roll this run in out just a little bit further out we're gonna do a little pressure washing on it we've been uh, throwing some degreaser on it but uh we're gonna try to see if we can knock some of this rust off but anyway y'all stay with us here and we're gonna see if we can move this thing around Well, it's coming pretty clean. It's uh, cleaning it up better than I thought it was. So we're fixing to uh, gonna spray it down again with some more of this. So we're using this purple. You get it from uh, Dollar General. It works pretty good. It's sort of, it's a big greaser. It's pretty good for what it is. So. I thought we might need to carry this thing somewhere we've got some uh, a pressure washer with some heat on it. So far, it's doing okay. It ain't as baked on as I thought it was. Well, we got it soaked all down real good. We're going to let it set a few minutes. And uh, then we're going to hit it again see what to see what knocks off of it this time. Thought we'd just roll it on over and get the bottom of it because I ain't hit it yet. So. See how much we can knock off of that. Alright, I think that's pretty clean right there. It's not it's not perfect, but got all the grease and stuff it, I'd like to be a little bit more brighter but probably gonna have to clean that aluminum because it's sort of dull but we'll get uh, we'll get back on that we're gonna try to uh, see if we can't figure out we can get this frame down here now and uh, get our springs and stuff attached to the back of it so we're gonna work a little bit on that y'all stick with us here We're going to have to pick up, put a little weight on this frame to get it to come down. So we're going to pick the front end up on it. See if we can't get it to move a little bit. Good morning, Jay. Good morning. Well, look who's arrived here. I told you, my viewers, that uh, 
we'd be uh, we'd be having our our guest come today. <laughs> yeah, that's what I am. I'm a guest. <laughs> he's a, guest. a he showed up. I know the rain couldn't keep him away. So. Well, let's tell you. Uh, uh, we need to do the weather report. We try to do one every video. Well, I did give it earlier. I said it's uh, it's going to be a rainy day today. Okay. Well, yeah. That's, so that's about it. It's going to be rainy. So what's on the uh, what's on the agenda, as they say? Well, we uh, you can look at the front end and see I've I've already cleaned the front end and uh, yeah, right there. I'm yeah. At the rear end. Yeah, I've got the rear end set back up. I'm gonna put the springs on it and uh, boat them back up and get them ready to uh, go back on the frame. Right now you're using it as uh, some weight. Yeah, to help pull it back down because the frame ain't heavy enough to pull it down. Yeah, have you explained that to the viewers? That yeah, this it's thing just here, a, you can't put a feather on it and expect it to come down. It's got to have some weight yeah, on it. Yeah, it needs some weight on it and uh, this frame just don't weigh enough to make it drop. So. Right. Alright, well there's the leaf springs. Got them done. These plates, U boats, uh, this cradle. I guess that cradle is where the. Uh, that was spring saddle. Spring, this right here? Yeah, the spring saddle. Spring saddles. Yeah, okay. that's, uh, that's the boat you got on the bottom of the river. I thought it was some kind of cradle for the transmission or something. Yeah. A little, getting a little ahead of myself there. Okay, y'all, in this video, we're going to be getting this front end and this rear end uh, back onto the frame again so we can make it mobile. I thought I'd tell y'all that so kind of give you an idea what we're going to be doing here in this particular video. I believe that's it up there. Enough before we can move them to put them frames up. We we were in reverse there just a second ago, and he he pulled us out of the fire. So we were uh, needing. So what what made you realize we had flipped the springs wrong? Well, when I seen the dial of the center on the rear end was sitting back here six inches off center i knew i was so I this right it. here should fall right in somewhere in the center of that right there this yeah and guess what what we still in reverse how we how we in reverse <laughs> oh, this is the uh this is the top of the frame and these goes to the bottom he's hanging down but we, we're all right. Hey, we're having fun now. You speak for yourself. We're going to stay in reverse today, y'all. Don't get in the front. Roll it over. Roll it over. Okay. Roll it over. Okay. Roll it over. Okay. Now, is this right? Yeah, we had the frame. This, when, I, when I noticed the bumper, this is what the rear end, if it goes up too high, bumps on that bumper. Okay. We're right now. Good deal. All right, well, he got the other spring the minute, man. He's living up to his name this morning. He's in a hurry. We're in a, uh, race to get this done let me uh well we got behind a little bit so i was going to try to catch up on this looks a lot better than it did the day that we uh we took the well the cab and the bed off of it you got it looking good got that good undercoat and you see a little shine to it right there in the and the camera.
All right. Well, that gets that gets the leaf springs on. What's her next? What's her next thing? Oh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the tars put on the green housing, and then we're gonna get them lined up here to put our U boats back in. We'll go ahead and get it set up. There you go, your backwoods air condition. Yeah, I gotta move that air condition out of the way. See, I work too early in the morning to be taking a water break. Water break. What, what, what are you doing? Well, I got up here about an hour before you got here. An hour? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I've already been working over an hour, so I need to take a break. Now, a minute, man, you shouldn't be doing that on camera. What's that? Working? Make, huh? Working? Oh, no, that you, I thought you were passing gas. No, I don't and as you can see, he's going to hook his chain up right here. Uh, you can imagine this rear end is more than me and the old Minuteman want to just manhandle. A little heavy, he says. I guess he'll hook it and then we'll lift it up with the lift. I guess I better get over here and try to help him. Yeah, I'm putting 280 pounds on it. It's coming out. 280 will get it. Yeah, it's time to get this rear end mounted back up. We got the plate and U boats, what have you. Take the nuts all off and just lay your U boats right there to get everything on. Alright, taking the nuts off, lay the U boats right here. Then we're going to come on down just a wee bit further. We're going to have to come on down. Yeah, we'll have to come on down to our dial pin and sit down inside them all. I don't know if y'all know this, but the old Minute Man broke his finger the other day. He's gonna tell us about it. Tell everybody what happened right there. Oh, uh, I picked up a uh, that that ratchet chain come along down there. Okay. I want to pitch it over in the back. Just of the hold it out there straight where we can see it now. Uh, uh kind of like this. I, I, I'm I'm oh. trying to. Wait a minute, now I see the tip up there, it's yeah. kind of turned. Yeah, it broke. It broke, you mm -hmm. broke it, and you it, you uh, did your own doctoring, right? Yeah, I did my own doctoring, I went He threw it in the back of the truck. Yeah, and then my finger was hung in one of the holes on it, and it, right. and it, and it, run, it rolled, and when it did, it took my hand with it. Took your hand down. And, and it snapped my finger. The price to pay to yeah. be a minute man. My finger hadn't been no trouble here recently. Well, I hate to be the one to tell you, you might be uh, destined for a high dollar x-ray and a uh, and getting them to put the right sp splint on it. What do you think? Oh, they might have to re-break that joker again. You know that? Hey, if they have to, we'll, have to go, we'll go doctor and film that. What do you say? 
people like to see that on the uh, J&J Backwood shop. Hey, ain't enough exciting stuff going on up here on this hillside, as you already know. Right? There's enough exciting stuff going on with me, though. Oh. You just need to roll the tar back up to the forward. Okay. Well, what we're going to need to do is this whole <coughs> rear end is going to need to move about <coughs> a half an inch this way. We're pretty much over the hole, but this here needs to scoot. Scoot. Yeah, right, you sit right in it. Right, good enough. Yeah, if anybody gets want to go to Florida, they can just come by here and play in the sand. And yeah, you wouldn't have to spend all that money. Yeah. Uh, going all the way to Florida or Gulf Shores, you can just come right here. Right. Get down here and uh. I think what you can do is look here. Let me. Well, you need these springs loose to where you can do this. You push in or out. Yeah. Now. There's a uh, you won't have to move that rear end back and forth much. That dial pin, and I'm trying to get it on camera there. I'll point at it with an arrow that has to go into a hole right here on this. Yeah. Of course, I'm not I maybe maybe you're seeing it right there. Uh, I'll point at it with an arrow. Well, anyway, let's say we're off, we definitely. Roll it forward or backward. Uh, we're gonna have to roll it a little bit there, and we're gonna. This thing needs. To, Which way is the rear end next to Let me look again. Make sure I'm getting. It. The rear end needs to come this way. Yeah, that that there. We get it. Right there. Well, it go down there. Huh? Went in then. Got it. Put the knee back. I'm going to be a bit of time. Be careful them come along. You can't break too many more fingers. Can't hold it. I know. When your only employee gets broke down and going in, you <laughs> your only employee. Yeah, that's right. You told the truth. I mean, well, we got that rear end on. Now it's time to move up here to the front here in a little bit, and we're gonna get this front end on uh it's coming along pretty good oh minute man he he's been pretty light on me uh today so i'm not gonna get up too much in arms with him uh he's been uh very easy going and which is a rare thing if we take and pick the front end up and roll back on it about a foot Well, folks, we're going to get ready to put this front end right here. Keep from uh, making you sick here. I've got to do a little better job with our camera work. I notice sometimes when we're filming, we'll swing this thing around quick. That tends to make makes some, me dizzy. Makes people sick. 
we got to be more careful with that. We apologize for that. Hey, we're amateurs at best, and we're learning as we go about camera techniques and how to uh, make sure the lighting's right. I never imagined the day would have come that we would we would have been uh, movie directors. I thought we were just going to be uh, backwoods all our life. But the Minute Man, he wanted to start a YouTube channel. And uh, I just, I fell off the turnip truck. And I said, yeah, let's do it. And you know, I don't have, but I have less than a 12th grade education. What, what's, when did you graduate? I had four years of college. You had four years of college? Yeah. Are you telling the truth? Yeah, I went uh, with uh, to uh, uh, Ford's Mountain College. Ford's Mountain College. Yeah, they had a college up on the hill up there. Yeah. Yeah. I went up there for it. You know, well, what did you major in? And since you, I mean, I, we was just hunting, hunting stuff. I mean, what kind? What kind of degree did you get? Oh, we didn't get no degree. You we didn't get no degree, so you didn't finish school. Yeah, we went there though. You know. Yeah, you went there to go look at it. Yeah, just. Just to go look at it. Looking, yeah. yeah. And and the then there wasn't no classes going on at all. No, no it was a hold out building, wasn't it? It was empty. Just room after room. Room after room. Yeah, was it books everywhere though, but big had place. Plenty of books to read, you know. It had plenty of books to read. If you should have read, read some of them if you could have read. Yeah. You, you should have got one on business. Yeah, should have, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I uh Daddy, uh, well, I call it Minute Man Daddy. He always uh, wonder why he's got so many friends. And I said, well, you know, that's a blessing to have a lot of friends. But come to find out, he didn't charge them anything when they needed some work. So you're always going to have plenty of friends, aren't you? Yeah. If you start charging, your friends go away, the right? The Bible says it's better to give than it is to receive. Yeah, well, you're over, you, you've are over. you overdid it. I think the Lord would even tell you to pull back at this point. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta help people in this old world, though. You know, we need them to help. Well, that's, if that's the fact, I got some news. I need some help right now. Yeah. I, I I believe the old Black Ranger has got a sprung of oil leak somewhere. I'm starting to smell a lot of oil. Uh, maybe that 320,000 miles on it might have something to do with it. But uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm having to add more oil, and I just noticed I, I must have. I know I tightened all my boats up from that oil change and, and that uh, filter. I tightened it by hand, and uh, and I made sure my oil cap was on. But I've been smelling a whiff of uh, oil. And I know I, when I changed it, it didn't hit the manifold or anything, the oil. Because, I mean, where it drains and all, it's away from all that. You may have a valve cover leaking. You have to check it. So. Yeah, well, that's just like It'll every... the intake, too, at the back of the intake. We've been waiting on to check everything on that truck for a while now. And brakes is getting ready to fail on me. And you know what's going to be my luck? When they fail, it won't be a Pinto in front of me when they fail. It's right. going to be a Mercedes-Benz 2024 model. Or Jaguar. And, uh, and when or the, Lamborghini. Yeah, or Jaguar or Lamborghini. And when I call uh, our insurance company over there, they're going to say, they're gonna never say knew they, they never knew you. Uh, I, who are you? They'll yeah. hang up immediately because that's going to be a major repair bill. They'll say, Jay who? <laughs> Jay who I, I'm from J and J Backwood Shop. You know me. We pay it. We pay it ever. Yeah, I'll get dropped instantly. Don't you figure? Yeah. Yeah. They'll. They'll yeah. go away with you. Yeah. They'll pack their clothes. Well, listen. I hope the look. I hope the camera's rolling when that happens, <laughs> so y'all can see. Can, yeah, see you what? know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I guess I've done enough talking. I admit it, man. He don't typically uh, like stopping mm -hmm. much. Yeah. But uh, it's well, always good. It's, it's, it's always good to have a little conversation every once in a while, right? Yeah. Whenever you catch me stop sitting down, you better take a break too, because that'd be about all you'll get. Oh, is that right?
What about the sway bar? I know last in the last yeah, one of the videos we uh we were taking it apart. Yeah, I, I didn't know if we need to go ahead and no, mount I that up. It, leave that loose. We'll both get up right. Okay. Yeah, it goes right here. All right. So they it, it don't we don't need to worry about getting it boated up right now. I, I think it's that. And here we are going to be putting in these four long boats that mount the uh, front end to the frame through these long tubes. Uh, as you can see, they're being a little challenge and we're having to use the four jack here, but I believe we'll get it. I don't think that's going to work, Minute Man. Well, we decided to go ahead and mount this so uh, sway bar up right here. It's starting to be get in our way as we are trying to mount everything back up. So let's go ahead and do this. This boat right here. Right. That boat right there is, uh, is catching this washer right here when it comes up. You know, when it goes up there to go. Oh, when you go up right there, it's catching the washer right there. Right. So that has to be, I remember that, I loosened this up and pulled this boat back to get that thing in there. Hand me that seven eight wrench up there. I don't know if I can break it loose or not. Might not, might have to. Get the impact at it. And I was wrong with a 15 16 what it is. We had a 15 16 wrench out here too, but. No, yeah, let me have that right, right, right there, y'all. No, right there. This line's straight up through there, but this boat's gotta go back. See, I saw that one off on that side, yeah. All right. Summon some of that old uh, 1970 strength. I ain't got it. Strength, you need a Pepsi. Pepsi will give you strength. I believe you got it. Over there. And the impact's two miles away. Yeah. Well. I guess we could have pulled out, but just back on it and picked the whole frame back up. We wouldn't have any land on our backs. Yeah, but <laughs> we, I done said that before, you know, in other videos. We've got all the tools in the world. It's just a matter of using them. And being a minute man causes you to overlook that. And you just say, hey, I got to get it done. I'll just lay down here. Right? I got some bad news for you. Turn around to the, your back. Yeah, right? that. You, you laid on that mat to get away from the sand. Come, let's look at your back right here. I don't think you. I don't think you. Uh, I don't think, I I don't think it uh, hefts you any. Yeah. Ain't that amazing? Yeah, you think about it with two coats left. That he did stuff. Set this thing down and uh, bring it forward and level it up and put the right raiders on it and pick it up where it could work on it. You would think that. Yeah. You wouldn't make it be sorry. 
ignorant enough to try it right on the bottom, especially in this sand. You, you would think that, that, but hey, I'm just a cameraman. I don't, I don't, I ain't telling you what to do. Hey, just remind me. That I got to tighten that boat back up. I left loose. All right. You got it, didn't it? I could have got that for you. Well, I knew you just a cameraman. I'm just a cameraman. This won't be good. Let me have that hammer. Hey, how many could you buy for that price? I got, I got, I got great credit. I can buy a hundred of them. Well, I didn't even hit your hand. That's good, ain't it? No, that's right. You know that I have enough damage anyway. Well, I could have popped that finger and got it back right. Knocked it back in place. Knocked it back in line. Got it, line it up. Front end alignment. Well, y'all, here we up under this old F100 now. He's uh, still putting some boats to it on the lower control arms here. And man, you got sand everywhere. Look at there. Yeah, you. I've been eating it. Have you know? I was gonna ask you for some Vienna sausages, but I don't need none now. I, I have, got. I, you ain't got none. Man, I, why am I coming over here if you ain't out to feed me? I ain't got no Vienna sausage, that's... You know, I was going to tell you, ask you, them boats you pulled out of them lower control arm, they were mighty short, wasn't they? Yeah, they were... They, they were pretty short if, on that uh, video we had when we started back. I noticed they were really short. And, uh, I was thinking... Maybe that was just something he was temporarily using, but uh, definitely want to uh, make sure well, you want these parts up here. I mean, you want all your stuff tight, but these front end parts and rear end back there, you don't want boats working their way out going down the road. You'll have a, uh, you'll be sliding, sliding down the road instead of rolling. Two, I believe you want some hardened, some of those hardened boats. 
You don't want none of that old stuff to snap off like a twig. And I'm pretty confident this is some of the original stuff from the uh, Grand Marquis. So this stuff was uh, rated uh, for this. So there won't be no issues there. Boy, he's got it looking good. The paint, he painted. Got it all painted up. Yeah, this old two-post lift was a pretty good thing here. We appreciate old Heath. You've seen in some of our videos before. He's a feller that about got hurt with that old boom on the back of the truck. I would show that video again. It's always good to see that video. I don't know. How, if I hadn't been standing in the way in the shot, it probably would have got a little better effect of what had went on. But it was a scary moment for him and the minute man. I was just a cameraman. I didn't bother me none. But yeah, we're getting on with it. Here comes the minute man. He might have found some boats. He's got an endless assortment of them, but the problem is nothing's organized, so he don't know where's what's what. He's just guessing. I mean, this car here, I have a, one boat will be a 5 8 one boat will be 9 16 half inch. Not really. The one, whoever gets this, they better have a, 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 a two box full of twos, metric and standard. It, you ain't gonna do that to them, are you? No, this is all standard. This is all tap standard. I mean, but, well, they might be that, but, but they're gonna be the same size. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they ain't gonna have no, oh. Uh, Two or three different sizes. I promise you on that. Yeah. I don't know. Ever since I've been here, you've done told me to go three three different size wrenches since I've been here. Well, I just trying to stuff it. We didn't have no wrenches out here for it. We had to have. Yeah, I'm giving them a hard time. I'm. That's just the way this uh, front end was designed. It's got different boats on it, like this particular one here. I believe it was a 15, 16, but I'm really amazed that it was a standard. I mean, you sure that ain't metric? I figure every boat on 24 this. 24 millimeter and 15 16. Well, are they, but is it officially metric? I'll, it is metric. These boats are metric, so. He said we're going to probably end up uh, replacing this rack and pinion. He's thinking that it might have some seals leaked in, and you can see right here we got a boot busted. So, uh, this rack and pinion most likely is going to get replaced. It ain't no good. And then I, I would dare say with all that sandblasting, before we put that cap on right there, uh, we probably got some sand in the system. So, don't you think so? You think we're gonna ha have to end up replacing the old rack and pinion on it? Yeah, probably so. You know, that's the advantage about being short. I mean, even with as high as this is, we could jump up and down and still not touch the top of this. Now, somebody like John Wayne, he'd have a hard time. But luckily for us, we ain't we ain't got John Wayne's height, and we surely ain't got his money, or let him rest in peace, or his family. That is now. All right, what do you think, RJ? Well, you're you're coming along with it. You got it. How about these shocks? Now, you did say something about the shocks. Yeah. Oh. Uh... I'll have to put them back on. I don't know yet. We may put a new set on. So we're going to wait and see. Oh, yeah. Uh, new set. We're going to have to do a lot of those stuff. Plumbing, cut, and stuff like that, too, for our brake lines. Brake lines and things? Like yeah, we're going to be re rerunning new brake lines, fuel lines. Yeah, it's got to get the work over. I guess we'll uh we'll cut this this make this the end of this video because this basically was all about getting the front end and the frame back on and the, and then we having to do that to get it mobile again because we're about to uh i guess later on in the next video jump in on some uh getting the cab in here and uh you i guess you're gonna get the front end cap in here yeah i'm gonna get the cab in the front cap and probably leave the bed uh you know for last but uh, and then again, we'll get the front cap like I want it and everything. We can set it back outside. I'm going to change a lot of stuff out on it, you know. Right. And uh, I'm going to blast it, you know, and then prime it and uh, on the core support. 
And then we're going to have to look at that core support. We don't really know. You know, we may wind up having to replace that core, core support on it. It may be, uh, may be too bad, you know. The support, I said behind the uh, grill. Yeah. You think it's rusted out pretty bad? Well, I mean, I, it's got a lot of surface rust on it, but once we blast it, we don't know. You know, it may go through. We just have to see. And, yeah. Uh, what it looks okay. like. Okay. Well, that, again, that'll be in our next video yeah. when we get to working on some of that stuff. And, uh, hey, uh, it's getting close. We're getting close to start doing it, some, so get into some body work. And I know I've been talking about it for several videos that about uh, old Minute Man here, his body work skills, and haven't seen nothing really. And uh, But uh, we're going we're, we're gonna to see if we can... Uh, get back in the groove on that and uh get to going and and, and and straighten out some of these problems uh it's been a while since you've done any major body work has it not oh yeah yeah it's been a while it's been at least three or four years three or four years yeah yeah and uh anyway i'm old and broke down and uh old and broke down i'm he says. slow but uh you know well what, let me t say this to you so the viewers will know we're gonna get it done, Lord's will, but we ain't we're not in no hurry because we ain't got somebody waiting on this truck. Right. And we wanna make sure it's right before we would even consider one time selling it. Now I say right. We wanna we wanna know that it's sound enough that it ain't gonna come apart. Now naturally when somebody buys something and then however they treat it, we can't guarantee it for life, but we are wanting this truck to be something somebody can be proud of. And when they buy it, they say, "Hey, this thing's going going into the garage, and I'm gonna keep it clean." And because these trucks are gonna get to where you can't find them no more, and uh, they're all going to the uh, the scrap heap, uh, getting crushed. And before you know it, they won't be but a handful of these OF 100s, and that's right. Uh, and the F 150, some of your early models, like the ones we we dealt, the one that we dealt with on that yellow one and the old Ford Gold. And we haven't missed it yet, have we? What you talking the about? The old truck. We ain't missed that old Ford Go truck yet, have we? Oh, no. No. Uh, we got, we're got. glad Sack got it, and I hope he's still enjoying yeah, I hope it. it though. I think he's, he's having a little carburetor he's trouble. He's had problems, yeah. I think maybe that he's going to have to buy him another carburetor yeah. to go on that thing. But, uh, we didn't know. Uh, we are not the original owners, as y'all know. Y'all seen us buy it. Uh, uh, you seen the whole thing from the beginning to the end. And uh, we did all we could do to try to get it. We were just kind of basically patching it up. Yeah. Uh, trying to get it to run. Got it to a point to where it, somebody needed to take yeah. it and do some TLC. You know, it, what you're going to see here on these F100s, this is going to be some TLC. And yeah, that stands for tender loving care. There's going to be a fine tooth cone run through these things. So uh, we're going to know every wire and we're going to know every line. And. Uh, in a truck like that, that was all still original equipment. We didn't. Uh, we had some electrical issues with it, and uh, and patched it basically on some of that stuff. And I mean, it was still in some misery. But you got to remember, and there's a tip for you, and you can you can uh, back me up on this. But if you let a vehicle sit and don't run it for years, and expect to get in it and fire it up and hit the road, you're badly mistaken. Would you agree with that? I agree with you. It ain't gonna go. I mean. You let one set up, it's it's going down as it sets up. And that was that Ford F-150 Gold. It had been sitting in a shed for a long time. Yeah. And, you know, the previous owner, he had uh, fuel tank issues, and we dealt with it. And probably ended up should have put a brand new tank in it. But, hey, that's water under the bridge. Mr. Zach, we appreciate you buying it, and uh, we hope you can get it 100% uh, back on its feet. And I hear good things. You, your locals up there, they're loving the vehicle. They like that old truck. But uh, tell them to tune into this. They're going to really like this. But we appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed day, and we look forward to the next video. Well, folks, that concludes this part 12 of J&J Backwood Shop. We sure do hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and you can keep up with our ever move on this 1976 Ford F100 conversion and restoration project. God bless.